Hey guys, welcome back to the casting of Frank Stone. We are getting ready to go get our camera fix and hopefully continue our journey into making movie magic. So let's get into it. Right there. You're looking a little uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just, uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You washed it all off like right away, right? Uh. You don't think it's like actually poisonous, do you? It's a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go. Yeah, any time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully there's enough time to fix the camera before they close tonight. I'm not sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, think positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. It's crazy that what? you can just take what it to there? the drugstore clerk. I thought that place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. I bet they Let's have some of that old junk, too. Your call, Chris. Ooh. Ooh. Curiosity shop. Why not? I certainly am curious. Regarding said shop, eh? Yes, I get it. <laughs> Lead the way. <gasps> oh, I ch oh, fate changed, ooh. Man, if I didn't know any better, I'd say this place looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and turns them into antiques. And we hit the jackpot. Check out the wares. Ooh, cameras. Uh, these look like they've seen better days. Oh, dang, that's cool. They're not gonna put the best ones in the window. We gotta look inside. Buy, sell, uh, trade, and rent. Too bad. So much for that. We can still out at the drugstore before it closes. And what is it you're looking for? Oh, hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello. We saw the cameras. We're trying to find a replacement for this. Of course you are. Please, come on inside. All right, Chris is in control. Now, let me see. I. I think I have something that may interest you, if I can find it out back. Please, make yourselves at home. Okay. Mm. And be sure to have a look around. You never know what treasures you might find. That old woman has a very young voice. Make ourselves at home? <laughs> Here? I don't know. I think it's kind of cozy. In a failed capitalist state kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. Could it have been in... All right, let's check out the curiosity shop. Oh. Where did I put all? Oh, cute bunny. Yeah. Adorable. I don't know that I would describe that as cute. Are we going to find something that Oh my goodness, the trinket. The trinket box. Oh man. Oh, oh, what's that? A button? A happy face button. I like transitions very oddly. <laughs> Ooh, it's back here. Yes, examined. Who would want to watch this creep fest? D am I crazy? Or does that look like the inside of Augustine Lieber's manor that we were at previously? Is that something I can pick up? I think so. Hmm. Is this old woman Augustine Lieber and she needs 
something from Frank Stone in order to maintain her youth. A film reel, a creepy doll. Oh God, I did. Imagine I found a relic. That at night. The smiling successor of the Macmillan estate. Oh. I feel like maybe this is a Dead by Daylight Easter egg. Oh. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Oh my. What a weapon. Beautiful. The Raven. All right. Must be where she's looking in the back. Oh. Well, that's weird. Let's say, hypothetically, she does find a camera for us back there. What's the next move? We got everything we need to finish this sucker. Well, except the mill. Sheriff Green's gonna have his eyes glued to the front gates. No way we can get back in again. We'll figure it out, honey. Hmm. Mm. <sighs> There's gotta be another way into the mill. We have to finish. We have to. All those old floppy disks. Okay, Linda, I am ready to chat with you about the trinket box that we found. Hello, Linda. Let's see. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm getting, like, so bummed out. You're in luck. A very fine item indeed. Yes. And how perfect Whoa. it's ten dollars. May I? I insist. Which we have. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Ten dollars, says uh, on the sticker. There's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? And the camera is somehow supernatural and steals souls. Okay, sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Linda looked like that is not reasonable, but I have no concept of the much. prices. Thanks for back finding then. us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. I feel like that cardigan. Yep, that's us. Is indicative of sinister. motives like it's that specific cardigan with the lace collar that is Wait, really guys. Oh, I'm makes such me a moron. suspicious i told my mom i'd pick up some milk on the way home oh do you want me to hold this be right back wait chris we just spent all the money emergency sock quarter emergency sock quarter oh okay Bye. okay yeah and First the two movies? Really? Must be a slow news day. There are those films that have been lost over time, which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike, not because they wish to marvel at the performances of the actors or craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality, realized only by the camera, which is what we're doing. Okay, what the heck is going on? This is everywhere. It is in every location. I assume that I can find the things that go in there. Oh. <gasps> like that. Four names, four trials. She tells me not to rush. 
Interesting. Okay. And now that is mine. Okay, so see, I'm going to have to be careful about going through and checking all these. Is it in there now? Okay. Okay, buying milk. Delarge Dairy. Yep, that is, oh. Another missing kid. I hope they're found. If you can identify this missing youth. Four, six, 65 pounds. Benny Baker. All right, got the milk. Hey, Chris. Robert! Well, wait, I thought you worked at the library. Wait, how would you know? Don't think I ever saw you come in. Robert, I a new character. I spies everywhere, man. So, Linda. Busted. <laughs> <laughs> you can always come in yourself, you know. Books don't bite. Uh, Linda's the bookworm. I'm more of a movie worm. Mm, I don't think that's a real kind of worm. Neither's a bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, so we're about to close in like two minutes, so. I just want milk. Oh, right, yeah. Ring me up. All right, that'll be 25 cents. Okay. This is, a, th I, this is like an awkward exchange. <laughs> yeah, you sure don't see coin like this working in the library. Actually, you don't see any coin. <laughs> it's volunteer hours. Not so bad if you like to read, I guess. Mm, true. We've got a rad horror section, too. Didn't know you were a horror guy. Just books? Movies, comics, too. Whatever I well, can get my Robert, hands on. Well, Robert, I you know, may have a role Jaime for and you. Linda and I are all making a horror movie. Down at the old Cedar Steel Mill. No kidding. We could always use an extra hand if you're into that kind of thing. <sighs> Super into it but does my dad know you're going into the mill he watches that place like a hawk uh yeah we had a little run-in with him today but we're gonna sneak back in to shoot the rest man i would love to be involved involved in what hey dad yeah uh chris was just telling me about a um a... We're putting together a fundraiser. Mm -hmm. To show movies at the library. Okay. Chris is like, haha. You I need a ride home? Got oh, one. Oh, yeah. Uh, let me just get my bag. I got him. Got one over on him. But I feel like Sam is very much onto them. It's very obvious. Let's I'm not sorry get I was a little involved. harsh with you and your friends before. Just wanted to make sure you're taking me seriously. Oh. I get it. They told me about Frank Stone. Gotta be a lot of demons in a place like that. When you spend enough time in my line of work, you realize every place has got its demons. You ready? Take care. Get you back into the mill without him knowing. Oh, Robert. Just say the word. Let's make a movie. <laughs> I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, I knew that old lady and trusted. Was her. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair Ooh, even for me. I was right. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. 
but what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? These walls of lives. We're back in 2024. All right. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're playing as Linda now. Bad dream. Ugh. How long was I out? I. I don't even remember falling asleep. 15, 20 minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait. Tell me about your nightmare. To Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand. Oh. Thousand. Feet is the average length of film in a movie. Oh. <laughs> Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Curse film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. Mm. So this Linda would have been one of those people. Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it. <laughs> She's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here. Someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. She, Providence she goes just a long way gone. towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponents. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get ladies. a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the Obviously curtain? Obviously, we're going to choose peek behind the curtain. But I do feel like she would actually say this, though. I'm going to play the character. I, I, I think I'm good here. You're lost. Suit yourself. Stan is just not my favorite dude. Oh. Do you really think Augustine might be up to something? Like, do you think she isn't going to follow through on her uh, offers? Mm. I agree with that. Never trust an offer until the money's in the bank, figuratively speaking, especially if it seems too good to be true. Come on, not everyone's trying to outmaneuver everyone else all the time. They are in my business. Well, show business is not real life. Well, real life well, is overrated. But it is her Maybe, business, isn't it? It's the only life I got. Only if you believe that. Oh. Well, oh well. All right, well, we have to do this anyways. All right, here we go. Why don't we go look around together? Unless you want to stay here by yourself? Okay. Oh, never thought your little Maddie Bear would end up in a place like this, huh? That? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Never mind. <laughs> nothing. What were you oh, shouting about? Don't worry about it. 
Look at this place. This is kind of crazy. You should shoot one of your movies here. Why? Because it's cool as hell. It's definitely Might completely well different around. from the rest of the house. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. He's got a guy who's what? got a pants Ooh. guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had them tailored just right by the other guy. Yes. Who also got me the blazer, which is like oh, press. a super limited oh. VIP club edition. Huh. Now that was a curious sound. Sure. What did that? What did that say? Found the turtleneck in a second hand. Archibald shop. McMillan. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> okay. Don't tell anyone. Oh, you can be sure of that. Okay. Well, I will look in the secret room in a second. Hey guys. Excuse me. I found a secret room. It's very exciting. Ah, a tree. The Whomping Willow. Can't go that way. Now I don't want to miss like any of these trinkets. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait, hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Ooh. Um, well, it's no secret really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... <gasps> Jaime's little How sister! Did you, know that? you look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um, I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very touching. I'm so sorry you had to go through that. It's never easy to lose someone you love. Thanks. Lucky for me, it wasn't my first rodeo. Well, lucky? <sighs> Bonnie. I wish I'd stayed in touch with her. <clears throat> Weren't you wondering where both of our film strips came from? Oh, Stan, just tell us the story. Jesus. I don't suppose you'd like to enlighten me. Of course. And? Well, I can't just tell you for free, can I? Got this guy. This kind of information is very valuable. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. God, this guy is annoying. No, wait. Secret tunnel. Ooh. How interesting. Looks like practically every room in the house. Yes, indeed it does. Bedroom. Where's our host? One north quarter, dressing room, parlor, atrium level three, atrium level two, atrium level one. That's where we were. The reliquary, no signal, of course. Front door, drawing room, lobby one, and lobby two. All right. Nothing to see there. Hello, what's this? Blueprints? Spatial suspension required. What is this? Transference? Oh my god. Are we actually time traveling? Shielding? Within Catafalk? Is that Catafalk? Must remain consistent. Temporal machinery, yeah, okay. We are we are time traveling. She was planning on us getting bored so we could Cool statue. Is this I... missing a piece though. Is it? Oh yeah, it is. Let's find the piece. 
and put it on the t statue and open up this panel, probably. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. They're all Augustine. Plot twist. All right, what is this? Oh, great. The face of evil, the true story. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down. Sam Green told took by down the man Frank who Stone. stopped him. I could write a better. Oh, book than this. yeah. Not Sheriff Lloyd Kusich. Oh, but that was the sheriff. Fateful night, I had sent one of my deputies over to check in on things. Not my first choice. The flat was from out of state and a little green for my liking. Oh my god. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd stepped into the fiery depths of hell itself. And there was Stone standing on that platform like a twisted gargoyle. A tiny... Well, that is quite simply not true. After Cedar Hills had learned... Wait. Stone's corpse. Oh, okay. I was going to say, like, I... We killed him. Whoa. Okay, My a puzzle. Piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Okay, so we need to find something that could slot in there, potentially. Yeah? And what would you do if it was you here instead of me? <laughs> no way. You'd be climbing Looks the like walls. Looks like it opens with a key. Out. It's a key. Like Who's not in a million years. No way. Okay. You'd really get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Talking to someone special? What? I, um, <laughs> what do you mean? Like Bonnie, perhaps? I've just felt so, like, empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like she really is out there guiding me, trying to tell me something. I believe she is. That's why I came here. It felt like... That's what she wanted me to do. We have to keep Maddie alive so she can. I know it had been a really long time, but defeat the can evil. You tell me anything about her from when you knew her. Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her, she did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, 
Hey guys. Repairing our relationship with Maddie. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! Ooh! I have a feeling Augustine expected something like this might happen. She's got this place wired with enough cameras she could catch a mouse. Mm -hmm. Good security probably means we're pretty safe. Right, um, so <laughs> do you think we should find Augustine? Give her a heads up? Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for the artifacts, right? Looked so all unimpressed. Over the place. Right. So and like, God, if what you were gonna have idiot. a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you put them behind a door like that. Great. But You've we got need to point. open it. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. Why am I? I can't see. The Phantom of Cedar Steel. What's taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. The fans are already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. Mm. They find it controlling. I read that in what? Tiger Beat. Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Mm. Let's be excited. Hey, right at time. Time to get cooking. Oh, honestly, I just don't like Chris. I don't know what it is, but but she. Earned. What? Nothing. Nothing. Just trying to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get like every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane. It's all right there. No, tell me more. I've spent like all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders, we are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. I can't take all the credit. I had a little help from my uh, <sighs> assistant. It was nothing. Hey, modesty free zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. Just doing my job. <laughs> mm. Oh, that reminds no. me. Now that I you are an I, official I no member that. It's of the okay, team, honey. gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow, this is <laughs> this is amazing. I'm I'm honored. You want to wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. Come on, Robert, you're the PA. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah. And Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. Kushik. People around here Apologies knew what was up, for but... my mispronunciation. Earlier. Let me see that. This one's a 10 year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This mm. is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Hmm. Stone's victims were... real people. This was a real person. Yeah? So? I don't know. 
and it obviously it. happened like it's another thing to I mean a picture not recently and this is recently, suddenly now a problem for you recently it's not a problem it's just a little weird you were just like super gung-ho when I got here what gives man nothing I just don't want to like exploit yes the that is important whatever. we're not gonna exploit stone's victims I'm just trying to maximize the potential of our main location. That's how you make a good movie. If I'm gonna sneak you back in there, you better make it good. He gets it. Okay, Chris. Oh. I am sticking up for myself here. I think you're missing the point. It's not about the mill. So what's the big deal? You don't think you're like a little too excited about yeah. everything that happened there? Like these are really I mean, people. if it bothers you so much, you can always stay home. Chris. Um, he's kind of number one on the call sheet. <laughs> what does that mean? He's the main actor. We can't shoot without him. Yeah, I know. I was just kidding, obviously. Obviously. Rob and I are going to look for any more locations in the mill connected to stone where we can shoot. And I'm going to go make this thing any way I have to. I totally get wanting to make a movie. I totally get it. But I do like, uh, it does. Yeah, there's like an odd fixation on a murderer. And, you know, it happened not that crazy long ago because it's Robert's dad who is still alive and kicking. Sure no Committed several murders go. prior to... Okay, so a serial killer. Oracle of the Omniverse. Guru Connor Barnum. Uh, successfully elevated my consciousness to the point I was able to visualize another Cedar Hills, one beyond the veil of all reality. This little town seems so very much like my own, yet so fascinatingly different in countless subtle ways. To give one example, the Calhern family still in the drugstore, but the manager behind the counter was none other than young George, the son who died so tragically some years ago. Interesting. More time. The Enkidu effect. An <laughs> omniverse? Far out. Interessante. All right. A book claiming there are multiple versions of people and objects, but okay. This is important because there's like some, there's some time mumbo jumbo. And look, here it is again. Okie dokie. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can remember it clear as a bell. Don't think I've ever experienced anything like that night. Tom. Before or since. And don't reckon I ever will again. <laughs> Heck, I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green. The man's a hero. Damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit. Damn crying shame. Hell, but gave up on finding stone at the mill. Sam Green, he knew better. He came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. And the baby was probably Jaime. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. Holt passed. Aww. All right, Linda. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of Robert. This. Mm. Understandable. Hmm. Her whole 
whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. So you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. But not that and Chris long is excited ago. because some of the locations <laughs> could work really well for the film. Like this one. Take a look. What is all this? Maybe I am much more sensitive I came up with a new scene to shoot. Did she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? I told Chris about <clears throat> it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnace chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. Mm. Ugh, okay. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. It's very supportive of you. Thanks, Robert. I mean, Jaime, sorry. Forgot which one of you is the supportive one. Oh, that was mean. ouch. That You're was mean. mean. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, all right. Fine. Yes. Huh? I get it. What is it? It's a picture of Frank Stone. Look at the date. <sighs> yeah. Oh, yeah. What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? OK, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Oh, Bonnie, just stay out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the mill. Damn. Yep. There it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. All right. And so begins a night of terror, I'm assuming. Um, but we are going to go ahead and stop right here. Um, we will pick this up in the next part. And I feel like things are really going to start getting crazy here pretty quickly. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video.